There are a lot of Shaka sympathizers out there who's giving him a lot of, a lot of chances, you know. Mm-hmm. And for him to give that kind of reaction is absolutely shit. Granit Shaka cupping his ears and also trying to provoke the fans. I, I thought personally, my own opinion, it was absolutely classless. Although we hate a certain player, we as a fan base, we are bigger than that. And Arsenal, we are usually being associated with our class, with the traditional value of Arsenal, and then the culture of Arsenal Football Club. And to see what happened to Shaka yesterday, I felt that it was really unwarranted. But his reaction rear its ugly head because if he did not react to the provocation i don't think this whole talk about shaka would have happened what do you say there well for me yesterday how he react after getting shot off is really classless i would i really say it's classless mm. as a leader you should spurs your thing on you should mm. ask a fan for more support yep because we are not losing we are still having a 2-2 mm-hmm. there's chance there's time but over and over again, we show him too much. Allow, can Allow I say us. like we, mm-hmm. yeah, you don't see. We give him too much room for for him to make a mistake again and again mm-hmm. and prove that this not not the way that we want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for what I see yesterday, I hope maybe a lot of people say that the fan also react badly. Yep. But. I don't think so because we give him a lot of time mm-hmm, a mm-hmm. lot of time to prove us wrong yep. prove everyone wrong mm-hmm. but yes another disappointment yep sense and yeah. for you uh, Saifo mm-hmm. is there a way for Shaka to redeem himself to redeem himself is mm-hmm. there redemption for Shaka now that he's turning into Judas uh, I think the best way for him to redeem himself right now is I, I believe all Gunas can agree I think just to walk out that exit door. <laughs> <laughs> we are like carrying on from what Darren said we've been lenient to him we are, th- there are a lot of Shaka sympathizers out there who's giving him a lot of, a lot of chances you know mm-hmm. and for him to give that kind of reaction is absolutely shit mm-hmm. it's absolute uh, he's, he's being a proper uh, forgive my language he's being a proper cunt mm-hmm. being, for mm-hmm. doing that uh, it's, it's very unprofessional you are a leader you're so, like, like what he said you're supposed to spur your team on yeah. you're supposed to lead them inspire them despite the odds mm-hmm. when the odds are stacked against you when the chips are down mm-hmm. you're supposed to lead them mm-hmm. we, we, we had Fabregas we mm-hmm. had Van Persie mm-hmm. we had Gilberto Silva even mm-hmm. he, he is showing what Galas did many years back at Birmingham, Birmingham. yes mm-hmm. and we all saw what happened to Arsenal after that we just went downwards and became a downright banter club yeah I agree mm. And Darren, with Shaka, as much as we think that Ozil himself is a polarizing character, I think Shaka is probably in the same boat as well. He divides opinion. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of Shaka fanboy out there. I, I, I don't think they have a lot out there, but there would be, I think, a speck of fans out there who will really support Shaka and what he does. But do you think it's completely his fault though? Because my personal opinion about yesterday it's actually up to Unai because you know for sure the pressure is definitely mounting on Shaka. You know the voice out there. We don't want Shaka to be in the starting lineup. But yet again and again, Unai puts him in the firing line. Do you think the, the, the whole bunch or the whole brunt of the blame should actually fall on the manager instead of Shaka himself? I mean, it's right for the manager to show faith in the player. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it will boost confidence in them, I feel so. Mm-hmm. But I can see that Unai is getting losing the patience in Shaka. Okay. Because if you see Arsenal versus Sheffield, mm-hmm. when we are down, mm-hmm. they actually suck Shaka up. He did? Yeah, I, I think a lot of people surprised. At the same time, 16 minutes, yes, same exact time. I, I believe a lot of people was very surprised about mm-hmm. that decision because we never see him getting sucked oh, yeah. up. Yeah, yeah that's, true. that's true. And yesterday happened again. Mm. And I realize it's always when we are losing game, when we are chasing the game back, we bring it <laughs> off for the past two games. Mm-hmm. So, but I believe Una is also starting to realize that he makes 
wrong decision mm-hmm. but he tried to make it up and <laughs> it's too late too late eh? it's too late but <laughs> you see the pace of the game is changed yeah after shaka is out with attack mm-hmm. we give them pressure mm-hmm. but we just cannot find the creativity yeah yeah makes sense. and then with you right Saful, uh we talk about he mentioned uh correctly creativity okay um we know for sure that ozil is another issue of his own that i, I don't really want to discuss in this topic again because we have discussed ozil in our previous episode of the pressing game but judging by the midfielders that we have right now shaka has always been renowned for his long passes he's the kind of guy that you want to be sitting right at the base of midfield because his long range passing can relieve the pressure instantly when you are being hit in terms of pressure itself but It's now he has not come to a point where but we don't see that too often. But is it really like I mentioned? I'm really confused. It's really a perplexing issue because we keep blaming Shaka, but like I mentioned, he's being picked by the manager. There's nothing much that he can do about it. If he's shit, that's not his fault. That should be the manager's fault to actually acknowledge that he's shit. <laughs> but right now we all have come to a unanimous decision that he is shit. But who takes on his role? Uh, you mean replace him both as a captain uh-huh. and as a player with the attributes and the characteristics he brings to the team uh he's deployed right now from what i see he's mm-hmm. being deployed as the ball winner mm-hmm. right in the middle of the park mm-hmm. we both know i think darren agrees as mm-hmm. well he's not a good ball winner he's committed fouls too many times yep he's a good passer of the ball that mm-hmm. i agree mm-hmm. but in terms of winning the ball somebody else should do the job okay But uh, in look, Torreira is a good substitution. He's a good replacement. He can mm-hmm. win the ball. But in terms of captaincy, Torreira should not be given the captaincy. Nope. Uh, I would go with Holdings, mm-hmm. a rock uh, Holdings for the captaincy. But he's not being played right now. Mm-hmm. So in the current first eleven, captaincy mm-hmm. should be given to either Alba or Lacazette. Mm-hmm. And creativity. We've seen what Guendouzi can do. He can make the dribbles. He can make the runs. He can even draw fouls onto mm-hmm. him. We've seen him make. Uh, we've seen him draw two fouls against the Victoria game. Yep. And which led that led to the goal. Which led to the goals. Yep. And even yesterday, he he made he made hell for Crystal Palace mm-hmm. in the, in in the midfield. And he decided to hug Zaha along the way as well. Yeah. And I. <laughs> no, he made a rugby touch <laughs> on Zaha. And then the meme came out like you know Guendouzi was just trying to hug his new teammate. <laughs> I hope that will come true, Zaha to Arsenal. But we quickly again. I just want to have uh, an underlying statement with Shaka. I think if Darren can do so, do you think that Shaka should still be given a chance back into Arsenal's fold? I believe for the mm-hmm. next few games, mm-hmm. Unas will still start Shaka in the starting line. <laughs> but I don't think he will last the full 90 minutes anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Because for Shaka, uh-huh. it's all up to him to win the supporter back, uh-huh. our trust, uh-huh. our support. Uh-huh. But the way his attitude yesterday is really classless. It's not the way how a captain should treat all the fans. Yeah, makes yeah. sense. Okay, 